with me and today we're gonna be finding out how things are made for example instant noodles so the ramen factory runs 24 hours a day the noodles don't stop the cups don't stop so everyone who enters the factory has to take an air shower so they just blow all the particles off of you so first we got the dough not gluten free look at all that gluten so it all starts out as very very long strands of noodles and then they cut them chop them up into little pieces first they cook them and then they package them and I kind of never realized they were already cooked and then they put in all the little seasonings all the dried veggies sauce packets bam you get a sauce packet you get a sauce packet very generous today and every day Ooh, the lid right on that bad boy bam shipped to a Walmart near you how are Krispy Kreme donuts made? So when I was a kid, we used to go to this Krispy Kreme that had like this whole process behind a glass wall. So you can see them getting glazed real time. And you could see them like pop them into the thing. Oh, this was before I knew I had a gluten allergy. And we would go to Krispy Kreme and I would have donuts. I would have like four or five of them with a nice bottle of milk. Oh, those were the good old days. I can't do that anymore. This location makes 50,000 donuts a day? Do you all even sell that much? Half of them are gonna end up in the dumpster. That's a lot of donuts you gotta sell. So the machines do it all. All the humans have to do is dump the flour and the batter in it. And then it rounds them out. Oh, and they get cooked and pops into the oil. Oh, delicious. I can't stand this. Oh, and then when they get glazed. Oh, so beautiful. Excellent. That one got a little slit. Throw them out. That's what they do. They throw out the ones with imperfections. Only the most perfect donuts may be eaten. So pick me. Choose me. Love me. But what if I want an imperfect donut? So they make over 32 different kinds of donuts. Oh, so you telling me y'all hand sprinkle these? Y'all really got time for that? The ones filled with custard with the chocolate on top? Oh, those are my favorite. Come below your favorite donut. But what about the glizzy? How are hot dogs made? Well, you see, first we start out with some boneless beef. We got chicken. Bro, are these some used paper towels? Or meat? Mm, they take out all the good parts for the steak. And then all the trimmings and everything left over. We gonna make some glizzies. Then they grind it all up so it's nice and soft. I feel like I'm just ruining hot dogs for myself. Mm. Do you I really want to watch the rest of this? I really like hot dogs. I love sausages, especially the breakfast kind. We got a whole entire bag fulls of spices. Oh, and then water. Really mix it up. Mmm, that good old meat cement. Oh, that's the secret ingredient. Put some corn syrup in there or some maple syrup, even better. Have y'all ever had maple chicken sausages? Mwah, the best. Oh, and then it just comes out just like that. Same, but after I go to Wiener Schnitzel, it's a circle of life. It goes in looking like that, and then it comes out looking like that. Oh wait, but it's not even its final form. All right, there we go. The Glizzy Maker 5000, and then they just come out. Boom, 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 boom. The casing you go, and nobody will know. It's like spaghetti. Whoa, they be looking clean though. Y'all go unwrap them, and they just go like that. Oh, so satisfying. It's a lot of hot dogs. Y'all be Glizzy guzzling for days. So when they're in the casing, then they cook them in liquid smoke. Steam them up. I'll let you finish cooking them at home. So first they heat them, and then they cool them down. So then you can refrigerate them. Is this all just one strand? Everything is connected. What are the black stripes? Also, if it doesn't have a black stripe, that's how you know it's done. That's why you don't see a black stripe in the stores. Interesting. Oh man, you gotta hand put all of those in a peeling machine, and it takes the casing right off. So the casing was just temporary. We're just gonna cook, prepare, and mold our dog. And then they come out clean. Excellent. Pop them on the conveyor belt, and this is where they get packaged. All right, everybody, groups of five. Oh, yo, that was a weak mustard spread. What was that? Y'all work at a sausage factory and can't properly mustard your dogs? Disgraceful. Anyways, that was fun. I feel like we're on a field trip. Y'all ever wonder how they make candy canes? So I thought they were just like sugar. And then some flavoring. Put some peppermint oil in there. So it starts out looking like this. What is this thicky boy? So it's starch, sugar, and peppermint flavor. Mix that bad boy up. And you have this thick slab of paste. No human can possibly mix this up. So they got a machine to do it. Whoa. And then they just keep pressing it and mixing it together. Mmm, that look like a meaty boy. You know what this looks like? It looks like in biology class when they show you what like a pound of fat looks like. Just kidding, it doesn't look like that anymore once they started mixing it up. 
Whoa. It's so flawless now. No bunks, no chunks. So like a fat lump of toothpaste. And then somehow rolled it up into this giant log. No trees were harmed in the making of this. Oh, that's the red part. They made a red one. So somehow they're gonna make this into a candy cane. This is gonna make hundreds if not thousands of candy canes. This big old thing. And then they put it in the roller once again to roll and then it elongates. Whoa! Big snake. So basically are they just gonna like stretch this? Keep pulling it until it's like paper thin. Cause think about how skinny a candy cane is. So it's just like a very, very, very stretchy sugar paste. Then they're gonna keep pulling and twirling. Okay, it's starting to look like a candy cane now. But how long is the snope rope? Oh, it's cutting it even shorter. Oh, the machine's doing it all. I got my work cut out for me. And then it goes through the plastic wrap. Hey, yo, the candy got no cane. I'm gonna be very disappointed if they don't curl those. Oh, there we go, there we go, nice. That's great, that's what I wanted to see. That's what I came for. I wanted to see the curl of the cane. Excellent, they're not hardened yet. Oh, yes, yes, everybody gets a curve. Nice, whoa, technology at work. Bro, you're gonna have to move a little faster than that. You really taking a sweet old time putting them candy canes in, yeah, tucking them in for bed. No, you only put in two at a time. Oh, it's a different flavor. You know, like the Jolly Rancher one. So the machine like spots out the different. Oh, it's so, so smart. Big brain. Yes, that was very satisfying to watch. Excellent. I'm very satisfied. You're probably wondering, how are Cheetos made? Because I am. What makes them so crunchy? What are they even made of? What's the first ingredient? I would hope it's cheese. So it's actually a corn puff that is fried. You know, that was my next guess. So they basically make cornmeal with water and then create a batter. But it's not really a batter, it's kind of like a powder. Basically crushed Cheetos. So essentially, it's corn and cheese. Elote's super processed cousin. Oh, so this is what it looks like before they season them. They just pop up like corn puffs. It's like the cereal. Ugh, look at like some unseasoned meat. So get this, first they're baked, but that doesn't make them crunchy. So after they're baked, they go through another process where they're fried. They oh, go up the ladder to fry land. Oh, there we go, there's the cheese. So does the cheese go first? Whoa. So after they season and fry the Cheetos, they're ready, super cheesy, and then a trap door opens, and then they're dropped into these weight distributing machines that automatically measure out the perfect bag full. Except it's not a perfect bag. Full. According to them, the perfect bag full is half the bag. And then you got half the bag full of air. Fantastic. Oh, it's so satisfying when they cut all the bags together. You're telling me bags are just like one long piece of bag? And then they just cut them and separate them? That's weird. But that's how we do it. Wow, great. Now we know how Cheetos are made. On this channel, we learn something new every day. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up. Every holiday, we would have gold coins. We would eat these. And I loved them. Like, the, the, just the crunch. It was just so satisfying. When I was a kid, this chocolate was just simply superior. So it starts out as huge blocks of chocolate. They pop it in the melter. Whoa. What a fun job. Just take some chocolate blocks, throw them in the melter. Whoa. So then they gotta make sure everything is perfectly melted. All the chocolate is even. We can't be having no chocolate chunks in the coins. So then they smooth down all of the chocolate and then wait for it to harden. Then you have a very long chocolate cheat. Okay, this is the best part. They use this machine that's kind of like a cookie cutter on steroids. And it's just like bam, bam, bam. Except it's really slow. It didn't quite go that fast. It's more like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna take my time. Pressing myself into the chocolate, making the little coins. Bro, we gonna be here all day if you're gonna be this slow. So they're all stacked up, but that's not it. It didn't even make like the design. So all the excess chocolate chocolate gets dumped back into the melter. Ooh, you have all of this gold foil wrapped up and it prints it on the foil and on the chocolate at the same time. So it just like presses the design or more like punches it. Watch this, boom, whoa. So the design goes through the chocolate and it goes through the foil. And then wham bam, you got some chocolate coins, man. Delicious. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the and comment below let me know which one of these was the coolest and make sure you turn on notifications click click and make sure you subscribe to the wolf pack oh i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys